dear students we are in msat mathematics and we are in the plane chapter this is last class for this chapter we will finish uh, this chapter in this class from question number 21 to 24 okay all je questions only we are going to take in this class okay see je 2019 question question number 21 let s be the set of all real values of lambda that means the lambda values if you make one set the set is going to be called as s like we can understand from this line such that a plane passing through the points see four points they have given and the plane is passing through this point means actually what you are going to understand all points are coplanar same plane okay minus lambda square 1 1 1 minus lambda square 1 1 1 minus lambda square and also passes through minus 1 minus 1 1 means if these three and one four okay uh, then yes is equal to not c equal to this is yes is equal to then yes e is equal to like that you take it. okay uh, see first of all i am writing you see let a is equal to minus lambda square 1 1 comma b is equal to 1 comma minus lambda square 1 okay comma c is equal to 1 comma 1 comma minus lambda square comma d is equal to minus 1 minus 1 1 minus 1 minus 1 1 okay see all are in one plane all are coplanar all are coplanar implies you see what i am writing ad bd cd is equal to 0 okay ad bd vectors these are vectors okay ah uh, how you are going to find ad see how i am writing ad ad is equal to see ad how i am writing ad minus 1 minus of minus lambda square plus lambda square minus 1 plus lambda square or else i'll write lambda square minus 1 okay uh, this is first coordinate minus 1 minus 1 minus 2 okay ah uh, 1 minus 1 0 okay this is ad then find the bd also bd is equal to bd minus 1 minus 1 minus 2 minus 1 plus lambda square lambda square minus 1 okay 1 minus 1 0 here also 0 okay ah uh, then you find cd also cd okay cd minus 1 minus 1 minus 2 minus 1 1 ah minus 1 minus 1 minus 2 again see 1 plus lambda square here okay little bit change here lambda square minus 1 lambda square minus 1 but here 1 plus lambda square now you make this uh, what we can say determinant that is equal to modulus of Lambda square minus one minus two zero minus two lambda square minus one zero minus two minus two one plus lambda square. Okay, see while making determinant when two zeros are there, you prefer this column. Column you will prefer that is equal to one plus lambda square into Lambda square minus one whole square. Lambda square minus one whole square minus four. Four. This should be zero. Why? Because all are in coplanar. That should be zero. Okay. If at all that is zero, then uh, this also zero. If you send this zero divided by okay. Okay. Then you make uh, lambda square minus one whole square minus four is equal to zero. Okay. Then you make two lambda square minus one whole square is equal to four. Okay, four. Then you make two lambda square minus one is equal to plus or minus two will come, but I will take two. 
Well, because minus if you make, you are not going to get lambda square value. Lambda square, lambda value again minus root two will come. That is not uh, acceptable. We know very well. That is why I am taking only plus two. Okay. Then lambda two will be three. Lambda square will be three. Ah, uh, now you take lambda. Lambda you can take plus or minus root three. Understand? See what I want to say. Lambda square minus one. If you take minus two. Lambda square will be one minus two minus one. Lambda will be plus or minus square root of minus one. Square root of minus one means not a real number. Here we are telling real values. Understand the logic? That is why you take plus only here. Afterwards, uh, you you take plus or minus root three. Okay, this is real number. Right? Now yes is equal to shall I write like this? Yes is equal to see plus or minus root three means see. Minus root three also there, plus root three also there. Okay, ah, but this you keep like this. Set this is a set, not a closed interval open interval from to uh, up to that not that one. Okay, this is the answer for this question. Let us go for next question. Okay, see question number twenty two, JE two thousand fifteen question. If the points one one lambda and minus three zero one. Or equally distant from the plane. This is the plane. Okay. See distance between this point and this plane. Distance between this point and this plane both are same. Like we have to make equation. Then you are going to get the lambda value. Okay. Then what they are asking? Then lambda satisfies the equation. See they are not asking the lambda value. Lambda you have to find. Then the lambda satisfies in which equation? Like they are telling four equations. They are given. I have not written four equations. Only answer I have written. After getting lambda, then we will substitute R S. We will bring uh, those values from here also. Why? Right? Because see, quadratic equation they are giving means two values will come from lambda also. Okay. Anyway, modulus we are going to take means two values naturally will come. See how I am writing this. Distance means see from point this point to this distance. I am not writing the steps. You see, distance means how we are going to find a x one plus b y one plus c z one. Plus d divided by x square plus b square plus c square. That means three into one. Three into one plus four into one plus minus twelve into lambda. Minus twelve lambda. Okay. Ah. Plus thirteen. D also you have to write more or less. Divided by. Three square nine, four square sixteen, twelve square one forty four. Under root is equal to distance of this also. That means you see three into minus three plus four into zero plus minus twelve into one plus thirteen. Modulus divided by C is same will come 144 plus 25 169 under root. See now both are equal in each other. Cancel these denominators. Okay, directly I can cancel these denominators. Now you see 3 plus 4 7 7 plus 13 20 20 minus 12 lambda modulus. That is equal. Why the denominators are not there? Twenty minus four lambda modulus we keep. Okay, here this is zero minus nine minus twelve minus twenty one minus twenty one plus thirteen minus eight. Okay, see, twenty minus twelve lambda is equal to plus or minus eight. Shall I write like this? What you can see, twenty one minus thirteen is eight. Minus eight will come. Modulus if you remove automatically eight will come, but modulus both sides you cannot remove. Okay, plus or minus you can take. Okay, now you see how I am taking twelve lambda is equal to if it is plus eight, here it comes twenty minus eight. Ah. Uh, Total lambda is equal to if it is minus eight, it is coming here twenty plus eight. 
that means he lambda is equal to 20 minus 8 is 12. 12 lambda is equal to 12 means lambda is equal to 1. R. 28 by 12. 4 7 so 4 3 is that means he 1 R 7 by 3 lambda is equal to. Okay, see now lambda is equal to 1 R 7 by 3 has come. Quadratic equation means two values will come. Quadratic R modulus means two values will come plus or minus like you have to take that. Okay, uh, normally. Now they are not asking lambda value, they are asking the lambda satisfying equation. See four equations they have given. I have taken this equation. I am showing this how it is going to become 1 R 7 by 3. Okay, see 3 x square minus 10 x plus 7 equal to 0, comma 3 into 7 21 minus 10 has to come. See minus 7 minus 3 plus 21 minus 7 minus 3 minus 10. Okay, uh, write down then here. You see 3 x square minus 7 x minus 3 x plus 7 equal to 0. Okay, if that is the case. See both only 3 is common, x is common, not 3, x is common, then 3x will be there, minus 7 will be there. Here also 3x minus 7 has to be there. Okay, 3x square minus 7x. Minus 3x plus 7. Minus 1 if you keep minus 3x plus 7. Okay. That means see x minus 1 into 3x minus 7 is equal to 0. If at all this is the case, then x is equal to 1 or x is equal to 7 by 3. 1 or 7 by 3. You understand? Like this, you have to solve this question. Let us go for the next question. Okay, see question number 23, JE 2019 question. All JE questions only we are doing. Next question also we are going to do JE question only. 24th question, last question. This is last but one. If the point 2 alpha beta lies on the plane which passes through points 3, 4, 2 and 7, 0, 6 and is perpendicular to the plane, then what is the 2 alpha minus 3 beta like that? You see, like this question earlier we have done for M set. Okay, so there, this 2 alpha beta were not there. 2 points and 1 plane equation was there, then we were able to find it. Now also like this only we will do, two points and one plane equation like we will do and finally one plane equation we will find. In that plane equation we will submit this point, then we are going to get this relation, 2 alpha minus 3 beta, that is the end, that's all, okay. See we have done those questions, means this question also we can do easily. See what I am doing, directly I am proceeding, see plane equation, you see a into x minus 3 plus b into y minus 4 plus c into z minus 2 is equal to 0. This I am taking as equation number 1. Why? Because this is very important. Finally, we have to consider this equation only. Okay? See, in this equation, again you submit this point. Like earlier only. Okay? a into 7 minus 3 plus b into 0 minus 4 plus c into 6 minus 2 is equal to 0. 7 minus 3 means 4. 4 a minus 4b plus 4c is equal to 0. See, what I want to do, 4 I will take common and uh, what we can say, uh, make outside. That means you see, this equation is going to become like this, you see, a minus b plus c equal to 0. This I am going to take as equation number 2. Understand? Okay. Now you see, now what I want to do, this plane equation and this equation both are perpendicular. Always they give perpendicular. Okay, see what I am writing. Ax, see equation 1. I am writing here. See equation 1 and plane 2x minus 5y is equal to 15 are perpendicular. If that is the case, ax, you see, ax plus by plus cz plus k equal to 0 and this equation, 2x minus 5y minus 15 equal to 0. These two are perpendicular. These two are perpendicular means how we are going to find this? I am going to find like this. 2a minus 5b 
Z is not there. See here K, here 15, both are constants. See Z is not there. That means see 0. T is equal to 0. This you take as equation number 3. You see here, earlier we were doing for this two equations in one uh, that uh, form and we were getting A, B, C ratios. Now here we need not do that much right? because here only two are there. We will get easily. You see 2A is equal to 5B. Either you take A value or B value. I am taking A value. You see, A is equal to 5B by 2. Okay, this I am boxing. A is equal to 5B by 2. Okay, now see what I am doing. This A is equal to 5B by 2, I am submitting here. Okay, implies equation 2. Equation 2. A means the 5B by 2, right? 5B by 2. B is B only, minus B plus C is equal to 0. Okay, now you see 5B minus 2B, 3B by 2. 3B by 2 is equal to minus C. RS minus 3B by 2 is equal to C. Okay, uh, now you see how can we write ratios? A by 5b by 2 okay is equal to b by see we are writing in b only that means b by b only right okay b by b that is equal to c by minus 3b by 2 minus 3b by 2 okay uh, now you see If you multiply, here 2b will come, these are going to get cancelled out. Okay, into 2, 2 going to get cancelled out, into 2, into 2, 2 going to get cancelled out. Now, you see, b, b, b cancelled out. That means, shall I write a by 5 is equal to b by 2 is equal to c by minus 3. Is it okay first you see? Okay, okay. Now, these values you submit in equation 1. Write down equation 1. A, A means how much? 5. 5 into x minus 3 plus B 2 into y minus 4 minus 3 into z minus 2 is equal to 0. R else you see 5x plus 2y minus 3z. You see, minus 15 minus 8, minus 23, minus 23 plus 6, minus 17, minus 17 is equal to 0. Okay. See, this is your final plane equation. But we don't want this equation. Of course, we want, but not this is the answer. They are asking what is the value of 2 alpha minus 3 beta. See, this plane equation satisfies this also. Then you submit it. 2 alpha beta in this at 2 comma alpha comma beta that means in x plus 2 in y plus alpha in z plus beta that's all 5 into 2 plus 2 into alpha r and 2 alpha is directly 2 alpha minus 3 beta is equal to 17 well I have sent that side you see it 10 minus 7 that means 2 alpha minus 3 beta is equal to 7. Why? Because 10, 17 minus 10 is 7. This is the answer. They are asking 2 alpha minus beta. 2 alpha minus beta is equal to 7. This is the answer. Okay? Let us go for next question. See, question number 24. This is JE 2018 question. A plane bisects the line segment joining the points 1, 2, 3 and minus 3, 4, 5. Bisecting means exactly 50%. It is cutting. Plane. At right angle, sign the other diagram. Okay. okay. Then this plane also passes through the point. See, fourth answer also they have given. Answer is C. I will show you how it is going to get done. See, before that, what I want to do, see one diagram I drawing. You see, that the two points are there, A and B. It is exactly in between plane is bisecting. Okay, exactly. See, this point you can take as C. Okay, A, B between this, C. this is the plane. That means the plane is satisfying this equation also. What we are going to do, 
two points they have given we will find the midpoint midpoint is c that is one thing afterwards we will find direction ratios of this see you are having direction ratios and point that means x1 y1 z1 you are having and uh, a b c are also you are having direction ratios a b c you can find the plane equation after finding the plane equation one by one you substitute i am substituting only this one okay that equation is going to satisfy then that equation satisfies me that is the point okay see what i am writing let a is equal to 1 comma 2 comma 3 and b is equal to minus 3 comma 4 comma 5 then see drs of ab ab drs i am taking you see minus 3 minus 1 minus 4 4 minus 2 2 5 minus 3 2 okay these are the drs or else you can even reduce also divided by 2 also you can make if you make like this means see minus 2 1 1 will come okay ha uh, see minus 3 minus 1 minus 4 4 minus 2, 2. 5 minus 3, 2. Divided by 2 means minus 2, 1, 1 will come. Okay, these are Ds. Direction ratios of AB. Now midpoint also you find midpoint. Midpoint means C. C is midpoint. You see bisecting means like this I will write. So because see from A to C is equal to C to B. Why? Because it is bisecting exactly. Uh, C is midpoint of A. B implies you see one minus three by two comma two plus four by two comma three plus five by two that is equal to C minus two by two minus one six by two three eight by two four okay uh, minus one three four is what midpoint midpoint means see this midpoint is on the plane now you can find the plane equation see you have got to point c direction ratios both you are having you can find the equation of plane equation of plane equation of plane a into x minus x1 a means here minus 1 minus 1 into x minus sorry a means this one minus 2 Minus two into x minus of minus one plus one. Okay, ah, uh, plus one into y minus three plus one into z minus four is equal to zero. Okay, you multiply this equation. Why? Because this is the equation. In this equation only how to uh, submit this point. Okay, you see minus two x. Plus y plus z. One you need not write. Okay, one into something. Okay, z minus two x plus y plus z. You see, minus two minus three minus four. All are minus only. Minus two minus three minus five and four minus nine equal to zero. Or else, shall I write like this? If you what we are saying. Multiply with uh, don't multiply. See minus three means shall I write equal to nine? Okay. Ah, uh, now see, this is the equation of the plane. You submit this point at minus three two comma one implies. You see, minus of my see minus two into minus three plus two plus one is equal to nine should come. Minus two into minus three six. Plus two plus one that is equal to nine. That is equal to R H S. Okay, nine has come. This is the answer. Minus three, two, one is the point. Okay. Now we finish this chapter. We finish this class. We will meet in the next class. Uh, next class, I think two A partial fractions. We will meet. Okay. Thank you very much.